Turning now to that oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, the huge slick, more than 3 million gallons of crude, is now moving west toward the Mississippi River Delta. Authorities said today that could force a major port for foreign oil to close next week. Meanwhile, efforts to control the leak took a major step forward today. Mark Strassman is in Venice, Louisiana. Mark, there was a lot of suspense as they lowered that giant containment dome down into the Gulf. There really was, Katie. I mean, it's quite an image, a containment box, the height of a four-story building suspended underwater just 200 feet above the main leak. Last night, a crane began lowering all roughly 100 tons of it into the Gulf. Its target, the ruptured pipeline's middle leak, the one spewing 85% of the oil. That's about 185,000 gallons every day. It took them hours to get the box over the leak, but Katie, I'm told that by BP officials, by tonight, they hope to get the box actually on the sea floor, have it settling over the leak into the mud. I understand that this has never been done before, by the way, in waters this deep, 5,000 feet now, and they've submerged it. How are they expecting this to all work? Well, the next step, Katie, would be to try to connect the uh, box underwater with a surface ship. And the box would essentially siphon water up to the surface ship. box was guided to the main leak by two robots who made sure that it would be positioned properly so it would tr the box would trap the oil. And then, as I said, the box has to settle down into the mud on the seafloor. Next step, connect the pipe, siphon the oil up to the surface ship. Something else, engineers also have to separate the mix of oil, water, and gas, which is a potentially explosive process. The siphoning could start as early as next next week. But remember, this has never been tried before. This is an experiment. It's their best hope. And so far, Katie, so good. All right. Sounds great. Mark Strassman in Venice, Louisiana. Thank you, Mark.